Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 2 Mario Madness. I'm your host today, Silent Senior 09. Last time we left off, we beat up Triclide again on World 6. Today we're going to do World 7, the last world in this game. Let's do this. Oh yeah. And man, look at that. Feels like we're going up to Olympus Coliseum, man. Seriously, the way the column is, it just feels so... Spartan-y, if that's even a thing. Alright, so, real quick, this level is actually kind of weird, the way you play it out. Essentially, we're going to be going left, but as you can see, not even Luigi could jump over that, and even if he could, there's just a big flo big old gap over there. Alright, now be mindful, because there are annoyingly placed ba bombs Oh! Well, you know, I, that was, um... I guess I shouldn't give Toad as much crap as I do about his jump, because he jumped a little further than I was expecting. <laughs> Oh, dude! Come on. Here, get off the screen. Jeez. Annoying the crap out of me. Yeah, that's not eerie at all. Look at that. Look at the way they have Phantom in the background on the temple. Alright, so for the first mushroom in this level, it's kind of a pain because you have to backtrack, and the way the albatrosses keep coming in, dropping ba bombs, it's annoying. But once you do, make your way over here where these, this platform of three clumps of grass is. Excuse my whistling, by the way, with my mouth. We're gonna... Oh, wow. Halo. Hey, dude! Get off the screen. Yeah, there's your first mushroom. Also, the vegetables in this level, or in this world in general, are gonna get really weird. I don't know why they do. They just do. I'm gonna throw this on top of that and say, heck with you. Heck with you, man. Oh. Yeah, as you saw, that little onion had a weird face on it compared to the onions we've seen in the past. Anyway, up here is actually where the... Second mushroom is going to be, uh, I can't remember if it's in the middle, to the left, it's definitely in the middle. Uh, okay, there you go. Phew. I was about to say, don't make a liar out of me, game. I've had enough of your shenanigans. I've had enough moments where you've made a liar out of me because I clearly didn't do my research. Um, yeah, okay, get rid of that. Now, oh, hey, I'll take that. I don't know if that counts as an extra cherry that you can collect based on the sound effect it makes, but, you know, I'm gonna grab it all the same. Alright, so what you want to do for this level is... Well, I was going to wait, say, wait for an Albatross to come on. Oh, there, there we go, there we go. Okay. I would have preferred the one that was higher off the ground, but that's okay. You're going to want to ride an Albatross all the way to the left. And we're probably going to have to do an, a bit of an unnerving jump, but, you know, whatever. I'm not worried about it. I mean, if you aren't, I'm not. Unless you're playing along with me, and then you're like, ah, ah, Don't fall in the pit! Yeah, you're going to want to take this Albatross all the way over here, and then take this clump of grass, and then take the rocket up. Well, we're doing a lot of taking today. Uh, hello. That was healthy. Cleared out what was in the throat. Jeez. Alright, actually, I don't want this thing following me, so throw that away. Um, right about now would be a great time for a star to appear, but, you know, it's up to you, game. If you feel like being generous, that's up to you. If you don't feel like being generous, I, I'll understand. Also, do not take that thing and bring it down with you. This part's kind of a nasty pain, because you have to follow these shy guys down, and you can't jump up, because as you can see, the clouds are right there to get in our way. And you kind of have to walk this way. Oh, gosh, that thing's in a... Oh, yeah, that was an awkward position. I should have followed him. That was my bad. I can't help it. I had a uh, paparazzi of red shy guys coming after me. Oh, so... Uh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Keep him on screen so the second one doesn't spawn right there. And then we're going to jump up here, and then we're going to carefully, hopefully this guy doesn't spew out a bullet at a very inconvenient point. Okay, really? Get off the screen. Thank you. Yeah, we did all that so we can get over here, and no, you can't cheese it to try and jump over that column. As far as I know, you can. Not even with Luigi, but... I don't know. Maybe there's a jump I haven't tried that was super, really amazing and powerful that you could do, and it could actually potentially work. Alright. Dude, no, I can totally make that. Don't even try to lie to me and say I can't. I mean, you try to... You try to cheat me out of a lot of things, game, but you're not doing that one. Mm -mm. Alrighty. Once you've done this extremely obnoxious long climb, this, as you can see, yeah, this is level one, but thankfully, as you saw, there were only two levels. They made this super, super long. Also, yes, our favorite type of Birdo, a green one. Great. The one that only shoots fire. Yes, fun, fun, fun. 
Also, no. Die. I'm not giving you any chances to do that. We're not doing any Sucker Punch cheap shots. I'm just gonna grind out, take the invisible screen moments on screen, and just beat you senseless, Birdo. Man, that's like a violent, abusive individual. I need to calm down. I need to chew it over with a Twix. Or snack into a bit of a Slim Jim. Feed the aggressive side. Jeez. Pop it up a boom. It's kind of funny how Mario, Princess Toadstool, and Toad are all on the right side, and then Luigi's just over there throwing a sniff it on top of a shy guy. He gets all the crap while everybody else just kind of gets to sit there and watch Toad like, Oh, look how fast I can, look how far I can throw the vegetable! On the right side, like, seriously, look at that. Oh, yeah, he's got a really cool, good throwing arm, and Luigi's like, Help me, please. Or better yet, he's more like going commando and destroying everything. Jeez. I'm reading way too much. Whoa! Okay, so it is true. So that's that exact thing. This, 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 this words, boy. That exact thing happened last time. My throat still did something weird. Sorry about that. If you have a cherry plus two sevens after it, you get three plus coins. Huh. I wonder what other combinations can happen if you do play around with this long enough. I mean, we've discovered just about every single one of them that I can think of, as far as like... I mean, besides the lighting three up of a star, a sniff it... I really did a seven. I wouldn't mind another seven, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. What do you want now? Sorry. I'm talking to my computer because it just popped up another random window, and I'm like, what now? What update do you really feel I need to do now? I'm just making sure it doesn't do it automatically, because then this will shut off the recording. Hey, a two up, all right. All right, last one. Well, guess we're going to go into the last level of this game for 35 lives. And what better way to do it than with the princess? Ooh. I like the way she waves with her little gloved hand, although I think Mario and Luigi have gloved hands, too. Or maybe they don't, I don't know. Alright, so this first part's, eh. It's kind of a pain, but it's not impossible to deal with. Sorry, I'm just waiting for him to... <sighs> you just wouldn't be satisfied unless you screwed me over, game. Alright, stop appearing on screen. Get... Ugh! Come on! That's enough! Sorry, I'm getting all excited, but... Really? I mean, really? You almost hit me again there, you little jerk-off. Oh, come on! You know what? I should I should really come to expect that. I, I can't go, oh, come on, and get all excited. Thinking that, oh, no! It's unexpected. No, it, it sh it's totally expected. I should just stop waiting and just do it. You know, like Shia LaBeouf. Do it! 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 There we go. There's a moment for me to put 3,000 clips of him going, Do it! Just do it! Sorry. <coughs> oh my gosh, dude, his voice hurts. I have no idea how he did his did his video like that, but... Whew, dang. I seriously just... Mm. Okay, really? Fine. You, no! Don't wait in line. If I run into you, it hurts. Jerk off. Jeez. Alright, let me up. I want that heart. Give me my heart and get off my s conveyor belt. I was about to say, get off my screen. Alright, ninjas, excuse me while I get through this. Alright, this next part's kind of a pain because you got the bombs that blow up. And they decide to change direction automatically and come after you. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna kindly get rid of you. So, will you kindly let me get in there? Stop! Go away! Screw you, I'm going to the right. I don't care. I don't care what y'all say. Ha! Suck it, Panzer. <sighs> As I was saying, I want to go down here. This castle actually has, and yes, we are in a castle, a huge one. Oh my gosh, this thing's gargantuan. You can go down, or you can continue going to the left and go up. I'm going to go down because I feel like that would be our best bet, really. Oh man, really? No, I want that cherry. Give me that cherry, man. You're not cheating me out of that cherry. Well, I gotta be careful, because if we go too far up and respawn the, uh, sparks, they're gonna be in an inconvenient place, and I really don't need that right about now. Uh, nope. Uh, that was a poor choice. That was a very poor choice. Also, if you're wondering, yes, there are two mushrooms in this level. And they're kind of tough to pick up, actually, because they're in... I mean, when you find the room that they're in, the potions, I mean... 
that's immediately where the mushrooms are. You don't have to carry them with you, because you can anyway. You know, with the whole can't carry potions through doors thing. Also, I think I want to go left. Okay, fine. Change it up on me, game. Change it up on me and see if I care. Harumph, harumph, buttface. Oh, great. Now that thing's going to follow me down here. Lovely. All right, get this guy out of here. And then get the heck out. Oh, come on. All right, fine. Come down here. Come out. Come down here so I can kill you, you disgusting thing. Getting all pulsating on me and getting all violent because you want to come after me. Oh, yep, that was a bad idea. Now that thing's going to come after Oh, no, it's not. Okay, cool. I don't mind if it doesn't come after me. I really don't. Well, let's see. If I'm following this right, it was left, then right, then now it's going to be left again, right? Ha-ha! Patterns for the win! Alright, this is kind of the part where having a star would be pretty helpful right about now. It is not required, but you know. Oh, well, now I get it. Now I get the star. I wonder if I can use this. Get, get in the door! Dude! Are you serious? Get out of here if you're blocking me from using the door! Um, game? Hello? Um, what, 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 what? Oh, now we're gonna be stuck in an endless cycle of not using the door? Jeez. Ugh. <sighs> Alright, so. Continue to the right. Oh my gosh, this is dangerous. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Um, let me think. Is it this door? I'm gonna go in here and find out. Yes, this is that door. Um... Left one, right? Yes, okay. Ignore that clump of grass there, because that's just a ba-bomb. And plus, you can... Well, actually, I was going to say you can get a coin out of it, but... <laughs> this is the last level, so there's no point, but... Yeah, there you go. Here's your coin for your troubles. No, oh, it's a bomb! Yeah, throw it away. That's the first mushroom. The second one's kind of a... What the heck? Why is the down button not working? Hang on. Is my controller not responding? Uh, my up and down buttons are not working. That's not good. Uh, 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 hang on a sec, guys and gals. Game! Stop! I mean, seriously, what the heck? No, up. Up means you go in the door. Okie dokie, artichokies, I'm back for the third time. I may have actually cut out the second heart. So, I don't know what the odds are for both my Wiimote and my GameCube controller that I had plugged in initially to stop working, but for some reason the up and down buttons were not working on the D-pad, the control stick, or nothing. And whenever I pushed down, Princess Toadstool would push up on the door and go in it. I don't know if this is like a glitch in the game itself, but that might just be me. That might be my controllers, and they both decided at the same time I don't feel like working for Silent Senior. No, no, let's, let's make him suck, the big one. You know, let's... You can do that. Dude. I hate climbing in this game, I really do. I mean, I love it because it's cool the way we climb a chain, kind of like we climb a ladder or a vine. But it's still more annoying than ever. Also, I don't know why I'm going for the cherries because that's just asking for trouble. But I can't help it. I love, the get I love getting the cherries, man. All right, let me go in here. Oh, dude! Climb! Knock it off! Knock it off, you fart knocker! Jeez. There we go. Now jump, Peach. Jump, jump. Okay, fine, don't jump. Yeah, take the Sparky right up the butt. You know you like it, you kinky little girl, you lady, you whatever. Fine. I'm trying to grind for cherries, because having, having a star would be pretty helpful in a certain segment, but whatever. I'm just going to wait for these guys to get out of here, and then uh, we're going to climb the chain and get up here. And then the same thing for this case scenario. We're going to go to the right... I said to the right, you jackass! I don't give a darn if you're the princess or not. That was bullcrap. Get up the vine! The chain! Whatever you want to call it! Get it up there! Sorry. It's really stupid and annoying when it does that. <sighs> Whatever. Give me the cherry. Ooh, hello. Yes, give me that. Give me that star. I'll become Super Princess Peach, man, like the DS game. Yeah. I can't use this for anything because I'm just getting out to the vine and. or the vine, the chain. 
whatever. You messed it up. Shut up. Oop, 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 oop. There you go. Okay, oh, okay, yeah, this... Mm hmm. Alright, let's see here. Down up. Okay, cool. It's doable to do that, but it's not exactly ideal. Oh my gosh, there's still more? There's more? I forgot about this part. Ooh, nasty. Uh, oh, that was... Yeah, that was my bad. I'm sorry. Sorry, y'all. I, I flubbed that up. What's really throwing me off are all the stupid conveyor belts, really. I'm not a huge fan of them. Although, to be fair, I never was a fan of them in any game to begin with, because they're just... They're very inconvenient to deal with. I mean, you could jump through them at the very least. It would suck if you couldn't jump through them. Alright, seriously. Okay, you know what? Jump up. I've had enough of your bullcrap game. Alright, so get up here. Get up here. Get up here. Get up here. Up, 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 up. Oh, okay, this is... I remember this part. This is stupid here. Oh, uh, yeah. No, I meant to... That's right, the jump button in the... Oh, gosh. You have to crouch to get that part. That part's a pain. But once you get past that, I mean, this this bit here kind of sucks, but it's it looks worse than it actually is, if that makes any sense, you know? It's really not as bad as you might think. It can be nasty and unnerving, but eh, whatever. Okay, now that we've got to the top. Now, I just got... I mean, we don't have to... Dis we actually do not have to destroy this birdo. Okay, what the heck? Did my Y button suddenly stop working? I'm pretty sure that's the button I have to use to pick up the vegetable, or the... The vegetable, the, um... Egg. There you go. My gosh, boy. It's your meats, and then your vegetables and your fruits, and just... Oh. Study the pyramid, boy. It is Y. Okay, my Y button was just sticking. Of course. Of course it's sticking. Why not, you know? Anything and everything could go wrong at this last level. I'm having control issues. Next thing you know, I'm gonna start having... Oh, please don't jinx that. Don't even joke like that. I was going to say next time I'm going to have some video editing issues, <laughs> but I honestly would not be surprised at this point. Yeah, okay, put the heart over there so I can't grab it. Nice game. That's real classy of you. Okay, um, I'm trying to think how I want to do this. I know I want to go to the right, obviously, because, I mean, shoot, there's not much else to do. Uh, do we need to go left? I don't remember... I'm gonna go left just to see what's here first before I go doing any. Oh, the duh, a dur. It's not gonna. Is it this room I want to go in? Oh, shoot! I can't remember. I'm gonna fall down here and find out. Uh, hope it is. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you want to go in that door? I was hesitant to say yeah, you want to do that, but I just could not for the life of me remember. Like I said, this castle's huge. It's huge, dudes and dudettes. Also, it's a good thing I grinded for so many lives, because, man, look at how many deaths I've had. This is just crazy. Also, please don't be stupid, Silent Senior. Use your brain. Yeah, we probably don't want to fall, like, really recklessly. You want to kind of do this strategically, do it carefully, so that way you can see where you're going. All right, then, from here, I was going to try and squeeze through there when I was small, but I'm like, nah, that's a terrible idea. Yeah, we actually want to go up this way, I think, and then we can just crouch jump, and then climb up the chain. And this is actually, this door here is where the second mushroom is. And then you gotta go all the way down here. You can fall if you'd want to, because I mean, honestly, it would be a lot faster to do that. Falling's gonna be the easy part. Getting back up? <laughs> well, that's another story. And it's not nearly as bad as you might think. Alright, so the left side from the not one room with the two clumps of grass was the one with the potion. I think it's the right one? Yes, okay. And same story as before, you know, you gotta just throw the... Throw it. I'm telling you, I'm not used to the GameCube control worth a flying fart on this. Grab the mushroom, grab a coin that's gonna be absolutely of no use to us, because, hey, we're done here. Also, once again, don't mess with that clump of grass, because it's just a ba bum <gasps> And with a tight space like that, it makes it even more inconvenient trying to deal with it. Alright, so I'm gonna take this tweeter. I would advise you do the same. Come up here, throw it, and get rid of that pantser. And combo and get rid of the tweeter. I mean, it, it didn't do anything. It was just sitting there fluttering around going, la 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 la, minding my own business. Jeez, man, I feel so violent. Alright, so we could go down and then go to the right and go back up, but I say screw that noise and just get up here this way. 
Okay, um... How do I want to do this? I don't want to wait for them. Probably... Probably right about here, actually. This would be a smarter move, I think. Yeah, there you go. Wait for him to go around, then jump up here, then jump up here, then here. Then there, and... Okay, stop playing by playing it, boy. You don't need to play by play it. Just play the game, and, you know, it'll flow naturally. Like you're going pee in the bathroom. Unless, of course, you're having some issues in that department. Oh my gosh! Oh, come on! No, we're not falling a thousand feet down below because you want to be a, a jerk-off. I was about to say something else, but I decided to clean it up. Okay, well, you know... That's it, I've had enough. Blaze it, trailblaze it, balls to the wall. Uh, well... JJ to the JJ. Ah, uh, never mind. Yeah, that's what I get for being stupid. Okay, well, now that we got both mushrooms, thankfully we'll spawn back into the door that we just entered. So, it won't be a problem. We can throw this down and get rid of those guys, though, because that will actually be very helpful. And on this conveyor boat, you're going to want to duck, because there are going to be a couple of sparkies that are going to fly past you through the ceiling. Which also means that, um, if you jumped up and you went to the right, getting to the left would be, if not impossible, nearly impossible to do without taking damage. And if you're wondering, okay... What do I do? You gotta go all the way to the right to the right here, excuse me. Go down to this chain, and then actually this birdo here. I think the music. Oh no, it's back to the boom ba da boom ba da da boom boom boom. You know, the whole bum bum song. I was gonna say the it was gonna have the boss kind of theme music, but I guess not. That's fine, I don't care. It's what it is, really, because you're going to hear another track of music that's pretty kick-butt, actually, in my opinion. Anyway, defeat this... Defeat? Defeat? Defeat the Birdo! Go in the door quickly before Fanto has a time... has a chance to kill you. Has a time. Boy, he's going to have the time of his life the way I'm talking today. Jeez, he's going to mess up my verbiage and everything. Alright, take this key, throw it over here, get rid of the sparks if you can, because otherwise those guys will cause you some misery like you wouldn't believe. Enter this locked door, and I think this is where... Oh, yes, there's this bit. <laughs> You'll notice that there are these little cupcake things in here. I'm going to bring them closer to me so I can have access to them quickly. And you know how normally when we open, we pick up the crystal, hawk mouth just opens its mouth? Um, no, not this time. Guess what? The game decided, let's throw one more boss at you. Hawk mouth. Yes. It's like, what the fudge? The... It's a decapitated head floating around! As if this game can't get more disturbing enough, it has to have a floating decapitated head with extremely menacing eyes, mind you. Very creepy. But once you hit it three times, it opens its mouth. Make sure you enter it and let it nom nom you, and then listen to this music. Meet Wart, y'all! The guy we have to defeat by throwing vegetables in its mouth. Yes. I cannot make this stuff up. It, it's... yeah. That's what we have to... oh man. I'm really sucking the big one. We have to do this five times. Okay, really? Really? There's a way you can do this without taking really any hits if you're... kind of like me and you would prefer to do that method, but I'm trying to do it legitimately. If you want to call this legit, oh come on! What was that? What was that? You're gonna give me a vegetable I can't even get because it's going off screen. You're stupid game. Okay. Whoa. Oh wow. Really? We're gonna do that today? Here, get in there and eat that. The thing about this fight that makes it so annoying, oh, dude. You're not. You can't take that many hits. If you do, you're gonna lose. Yes. Yeah, so you have to find the find the gap in between each bubbles, and then go from there. Seriously, it's not that hard. I mean, you're trying to make it hard, I can tell. Ooh. And no, I don't mean that kind of hard, you pervy minds. You get your mind out of the gutter. You kind of have to... <sighs> watch the flow of the bubbles, but I'm not... Clearly, I'm missing the flow altogether. I think what makes it hard is when he does the really... ones that drop quicker because gravity is stupid. Also, I might want to go ahead and just stick with my own advice. Just kind of hang out on top here, and... He could still get you if you're up top there. But there's a less of a chance that the bubbles will hit you. You just kind of have to watch where the bubbles are going and then jump out of the way. And the vegetables will indeed 
launch themselves up high enough once in a while as soon as you can get them to and uh, it'll just land on your head and you can use it to jump. I wouldn't recommend picking one up because it'll carry you right to the bubble. Alright, there you go. And then wait for him to open his mouth again and then launch the vegetable right into his... Oh, come on. Yeah, there's that crap too. The whole disintegrating bullcrap where the bubble disintegrates the vegetable that you throw in his mouth, which I think is stupid. But anyway, with that we defeated Wart. Haha! -ha! Yeah, all right. Done. Sorry, had to get that last note in there. Probably not going to sync that up right either. All right, so for doing that, pull the cork out of this pipe here, and all the real nice angels, the ones that are not trying to kill us with pitchforks, not the bezos, will really be released, and they're going to sit there and do a little cheer while carrying the battered up. Wart, and really all we did was just shove a bunch of vegetables in his mouth. Off screen. Now, normally what would happen is you would see the, uh, a person, one person or two people standing on the podium there, depending on how many characters you used. Or three. It's possible to do three, I think. Up on top, and basically the ones that, the one that you use the most is the one that's standing up there while the others are just kind of off the side cheering. But because we used all four characters, well, I did, evilly, they're all standing up there, and they're all top contributors instead of just one. So yeah, remember that intro in the first episode where Mario, where it talks about how Mario was in a world that he saw in his dream exactly? <laughs> he wakes up, huh? And then he goes right back to sleep. Yeah, it was all in his dream. This all never really happened. It was just all a dreamed adventure. And then for doing that, we get a cute little cast here. You know, with Mario, Luigi, Toad, and Princess Toadstool. Is it Princess? Oh, it's just Princess, not even Toadstool. Jeez, I guess we're not in Super Mario RPG yet. And then from there on, it's all the enemies. Now, I'm sure quite a few people know this already, but there are a few errors in this bit. As far as, like, translation and all that are concerned. And it's not yet, but you'll see it very shortly. There's a point where they mix up two enemies' names... And then there's another point where they mix up an L with an R, or an R with an L, excuse me. And I think that might have something to do with the fact that sometimes some language barriers will replace R's with L's, and L's with R, or actually I think it's just R's with L's. And I'm not trying to make fun of anybody, you know, it happens. It's kind of like me trying to learn Spanish, I, I, I butcher the crap out of that language, like crazy. I can't tell you how many times people are like, uh... See? You know when they try to respond to me? I'll try to respond. Yeah, right up there you saw that Birdo was actually Ostro. And then once we find Ostro, you'll see that the Birdo's name is actually there. They messed that up royally. And then Claw Glip instead of Claw Grip. Yeah. There's Tri Clyde. Ooh. Or actually, no, it was just a. It happened up above. I totally missed it. Oh, this is cute here. Watch this. <laughs> Freaking laughing. What a jerk off. And for doing that, the end for having a happily ever after dream for Mario. That was Super Mario Bros. 2, Mario Madness. Thank you all so much for watching. Love you bunches. Please don't let your tails fly up. And then for doing that, we have the chance to save, quit, or quit. Whichever you want to do. We'll just save, quit. And then the next time we meet, we're going to start another journey together. I have no idea what it's going to be. It could be another game on here, or it could be what I originally was going to do, but stuff happened to prevent me from doing it. We'll see. In the meantime, love you all, take care, and I'll see you all next time. Peace. <laughs>